What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we're going to be taking a look today at what's coming Monday. So, a couple of questions that have come in to me about Beckenbauer. I've done two videos on Beckenbauer, but yeah, we are still going to be getting our free login bonuses and there's a lot of extra spins that you can get from the objectives. I have a full video on it, it's in the description below if you want to check that out. Also, some people have asked me as well about resetting the box. So what this means is if you do spin for Beckenbauer, you can potentially reset the box by pressing square or X on the Xbox or PC if you're using a Microsoft controller or another gamepad or else it is square on the PS5. That is going to reset your box, but do not do this unless you have cleared the four players in this. So I've seen some people that have literally got these four players in like four or five spins and just got so lucky. And then the rest of the players that they're going to be spinning are going to be all these duds here that are not going to be worth spinning for. So if you reset the box, you can duplicate these and then you can release them and get better rewards for releasing them rather than getting these spins and wasting your spins on it. I've seen people get Beckenbauer three times um, that has been sent to me. So that's just one on that. And you're going to be continuing to get these spins here as well. We'll just open two of these and that'll bring it down to half the box cleared. Hopefully we get Beckenbauer here live, but we probably won't. We get Lucas Torreira. And this is going to be half the box filled uh, or cleared with 26 spins. We'll have more tomorrow, obviously, and more objectives. We're not going to get any of the players here, but that is going to be it. The, uh, the more objectives that you get cleared, the better. And there is no new objectives as of now, but tomorrow and next Thursday, there will be new objectives in here. So this will be refilled. So that's going to be something as well to keep an eye on, that there will be new objectives to be able to claim from tomorrow onwards and then on to Thursday. And then for the next 21 days or 20 days now or 19 days, you're going to have all of these that you will be able to clear. And obviously the box is going to be easily cleared so that you will definitely need to get, you don't need to get all the objectives cleared, but it helps if you want to get it quicker. In terms of everything else that's coming, we do know that we are going to be getting new contracts, as we always get. We're probably going to be getting a double dip again. We've got three days left in that. That's going to be ending on Thursday, but we have the J-League ending on Thursday as well, which are the Epic players. We've got the Big Time and the Epic. And then also we do have the Player of the Week ones here, but we, we know that the Italian League Guardians are going to be gone. So they've started to double dip now, which seems to be like a teamed Big Time or Blitz Curler or whatever pack that could be. Uh, replacing with, you know, we might get the Barcelona pack back again, we might get Blitz Carter, we might get another big time. We also have the player of the week now paired with a new legend here that you see. So this is always going to be the way from here on until eFootball25, unless they change it with June's content, which is going to be the next big update, I would say, for the Euros, right? But these Italian League Guardians are going to be gone, and also the player of the weeks are going to be gone. And they are going to be replaced, it looks like, by... Let me just get this up on the screen here. It looks like they're going to be replaced with this selection. So there's a European club selection attackers coming on the 20th of May, which is Monday, which is tomorrow. You've got Dembele, you've got Madison, you've got a couple of others there, Ben Yedder. We have a couple of more there players there that you can see. But also on top of that, we are going to be getting what it looks like to be European club attackers that have been in the database for a while. Um, again, David Villa, Van Basten and Paolo Sergio. There is a couple of other players in here that potentially could come as well. It mightn't be these three. It looks like it's definitely going to be David Villa and Van Basten because their stats have been updated. But there are a couple of others that could be in there as well. Some people are saying Kaka. I don't think that they'll drop Kaka with this pack personally. They usually drop two really good players and then a player that you kind of is an okay addition to the squad, but has mixed results. It's not going to be the one that you're going for. Van Basten and David Villa, in my personal opinion, I I don't know with David Villa, man. David Villa's stats look absolutely insane, like ridiculously good. Um, but it depends on how many levels he's going to have. It depends on a couple of other features that he's going to have with the card. Van Basten, I think a lot of people are probably expecting Van Basten to be really, really good as well. He was obviously an unbelievable goal scorer. But I think the problem with this Van Basten card is, is kind of similar to a lot of cards in the game at the moment now is that he does have a lot of limitations, right? And what I mean by limitations is that if you go over here and we take a look at this card here, we're going to see that Van Basten's card, forget about the levels for the time being, the problem with Van Basten's card is going to be that balance again, lads. That's going to be the big issue. Even if you pop 18 levels into Dexterity, that 77 balance with Manager Boost is not going to go past 85. It's going to be impossible. Now, the rest of his stats are pretty decent. You know, he's got the shooting, he's got the dribbling, even with the technique. He's even got a bit of, uh, you know, speed about him and stuff, which is nice for this card. And he will have more levels than that. But David Villa, I think, is the big one. David Villa, even with 30 levels here, if we just max that out at 30 levels. Usually when I'm looking at players now, I don't take the manager boost into consideration at all. But even if you were to pop, you know, 10 into shooting, 
10 into dribbling or 9 into dribbling, 10 into the shooting, 10 into dexterity, you're still going to get 5 or 6 with the speed here. And even at that, you don't need that speed to be as high with the manager boots and stuff like that. You can kind of rein it back a little bit. His dexterity is pretty nice at that as well. And then you can add up his speed. Of course, speed is not really a big factor now in the game compared to, you know, what it used to be before so i wouldn't worry too much about that but that is a phenomenal card at 30 levels and usually the big time cards like this have 31 levels at a minimum if if not 32 33 so you know you're going to be having acceleration balance dribbling type possession ball control finishing awareness everything's going to be into the 90s you know so yeah that is basically what it is so let me know let's let me know what you guys think we will be back of course and seeing what we get up to on monday we'll play a few more games we'll chase divisions i have a load of videos left to do let's be very busy this weekend but we said we get this video out for you um but yeah we'll be back monday we'll have a lot of stuff to cover i'm also going to be doing a really cool in-depth video um on monday within the live stream so we're going to be recording it so if you guys want to be part of that i'm going to be taking live comments and making a part of the video and then uploading it um across the platforms that we have so if you guys want to be involved in that we will uh, we will see you guys on monday other than that lads don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel we will have another giveaway coming soon as well and uh yeah we will see you in the live stream peace